we have been suffering so much. We realize that we have taken birth multiple times, died multiple times, and now we have been given this Manukha Jeevan, this life as a human. And now our aim is that we want to be liberated. <laughs> Vai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guru Ji Ki Fateh Sangha Ji. Welcome to another episode of Sikhanti Pagat Mala, where we listen to the Sakya of Guru Sikhs from the time of Guru Ram Das Ji, as mentioned by Pai Guru Das Ji and retold by Shaheed Pai Mani Singh Ji. So today's Sakya is about Pai Mahanand Ji and Pai Bidhi Chand Ji. So Pai Guru Das Ji says in War 11, Body No. 17, they say, Mahapurk hai Mahanand, Bidhi Chand Buddha Bimala, Vichara. So Mahapurk hai Mahanand. So Pai Mahanand Ji is a Mahapurk, which means a great person. And Bidhi Chanda Buddha Bimala Vichara. And Pai Bidhi Chand Ji has really great wisdom as a Gursik. So Pai Mahanand Ji and Pai Bidhi Chand Ji, they came to the sanctuary of Guru Ram Das Ji and they do a Bainti, Ki He Satya Pacha Ji. We have been suffering so much. We realize that we have taken birth multiple times died multiple times and now we have been given this Manukha Jeevan, this life as a human. And now our aim is that we want to be liberated. So please tell us, how can we be saved? So we don't have to come back into the cycle of life and death again. So Guru Ram Dazi then looks at them and says, Ki, once you recognize who you truly are, which is Atma Sarup, Atma Paratma Ekko Kare, once you recognize that you are Atma Sarup and your aim is to become one with Paramatma, then your cycle of life and death will be cut. So even Gurbani says as well, ki mantu jyot sarup hai apna mool pachan. Ki you are telling ourselves, jyot sarup hai, tu jyot sarup hai, that you are actually sarup, the form of the light, the form of Paramatma, apna mool pachan. And we have come here to recognize our mood, to recognize our root, our origin, where we have come from, and we want to go back there. So Guru Ram Dazi then says, Ki, this is the way you can be liberated. Then those two Guru Sikhs, they then say to Suchi Pacha, Guru Ram Dazi, Ki, Guru Sahib Ji, we recognize ourselves as Khatri. We identify ourselves as Khatri, and that's all we know. Our parents they were Khatri and when we were born, they told us that you are Khatri and this is how your life is. And that's all we know about our identity. Now Guru Ram Dazi then says to them, that your ancestors, your family, your parents gave you this identity because you were born in a Khatri family. They said you are a Khatri and your lifestyle is like that. But that identity is attached to your body. It's not attached to your Atma. So your body the way you dress up, the way you carry yourself, which then creates this identity, this body is going to remain here. When you leave this world, the body doesn't go with you. In fact, this is the same body that you have identified yourself with. It's going to perish, it's going to go back into the five elements. And the next Janam you come is a completely different body. So your body will remain here and there's no identity, there's no tags on your Atma. So Guru Sahib says, you are in this body now, in this kapra, in this cloth. And in this cloth, in this body, you are paying for your past life karam. So in this life now, you're paying for your past life karam. And in this body now, in this cloth, you are creating new karam, which then in your next life, you'll be paying for those karam as well. So the mistake we make as Guru Sahib is that we attach ourselves to this kapra. Karmi ave kapra nadri mokhduar. Guru Nanak Dev Ji says that karam de karke, because our, our karam we committed in our past life, ave kapra, then we have come into this world wearing a different cloth. Nadri mokhduar. And Guru Sahib says, through Guru's Paramatma's nadar, kirpa, blessings, mokhduar, that we get to salvation, we get to mukti. So Guru Ram Dazi tells to Pai Mahanan and Pai Bidhichan, he recognize this body as just a kapra which means that you put it on, you use it, and then you take it off. You're not attached to that kapra. And that's how you can be liberated. So then the Guru says and say, Ki Satya Pasha Ji, it's easy to say, Ki recognize this body as a kapra, and you know, you have to recognize your Atma Sarup and not the other tags 
you know, attached to your body. But how can we learn about our true self? How can we learn can we are Atma soul? And Guru Ram Das, he says, Ki you have to listen to Katha, you have to listen to Kirtan, you have to come to Satsang, listen to Kirtan, do Kirtan, listen to Katha. And that's how you will get the Gyan, the wisdom of your Atma. This was how Pai Mahananji and Pai Bidhi Chanji then they took the Updesh of Guru Ram Das Ji and daily would go to listen to Katha, Kirtan, the Atma Gyan and then they were liberated. Sangha Ji, Katha and Kirtan are two sides of a coin that we cannot separate. We cannot just say that you can only listen to Kirtan or you can only listen to Katha. Guru Ram Das Ji says here both Katha and Kirtan. Through Kirtan, you connect so much with Gurbani, you have that spiritual connection and then when you listen to the Katha of that Shabad, then you understand the message of Gurbani of what Maharaj is trying to tell to us. Both Katha and Kirtan has its equal benefits. Now Gurbani says, Jo prab ki har katha sunave, anda nafiro tisipichai viragi. That those who can tell me the Katha of Paramatma, I'm a sacrifice to them. I want to serve those Gursikhs. Purva karma ankur jab prakate petyo purkha rasak bairagi. Then what happens is that when the seeds of the past karma, when they come, then you realize ki you Paramatma is both the one who created this world and they are the one enjoying it. And this body that I'm in is just, is just because of my karma and I'm not attached to it. And what happens then when I listen to that katha, when I understand the message of Guru Gurbani, Mityo Andir, the darkness of ignorance is down, gone. Milta Har Nanaka, now I found my Guru, Janam Janam Ki Soi Jagi. Now, for many Janams that I have been asleep, you know, I have not lived my life in awakening, now I have awakened and now I know how to live my life. So, Guru Sahib says, Sun Har Katha Utari Mel. That by listening to the Katha of Paramatma, the mal, the dirt of our past karam, of our negative karam, bad actions is all washed away. And Mara says about Kirtan, what does Mara says? Har Kirtan sune, har Kirtan gawe, tis jana dukha nikat nahi aave. So when you listen to Kirtan, when you do Kirtan yourself, what happened to that jana, to that sikh, dukha nikat nahi aave that any form of Dukkha will never come to you by singing the praises of Paramatma and listening to the Kirtan of Paramatma. And Sangaji, that is how you will learn about your true identity, about your Atma Suru. So, Pulla Chukandikima, Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.